I just went to the store and now I'm gonna go look for some snakes because I'm right by a spot and it's actually it's actually kind of nice out today so why not you know probably a fox snake or a garter snake or something we'll see I don't know let's go find something there's a deer in the bushes right there that's kind of cool I like seeing big animals in the suburbs like that like coyotes and deer and stuff it's cool to me guys it's like 70 degrees and um, cloudy right now very cloudy which is actually perfect weather cover won't heat up too much ground won't heat up too much therefore the snakes won't heat up too much and it rained a little bit yesterday moisture is always great so um, I'll see if I can find anything out basking but uh, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip some boards and tin and see if we can find anything Just check some of these pieces of wood first sometimes snakes will utilize those especially baby snakes they like like bark and wood and stuff like that they don't produce too much but you never know I'm gonna flip everything live today so you'll see exactly what I see when I uh, get to the boards and everything always put everything back as you found it if you didn't already know most people do it's kind of common knowledge because think about it if you want the snakes to return they're gonna want to have that same cover that they used right so yeah make sure to return everything exactly the way it was right here is a garter snake shed um, you could tell because they kind of have heavily keeled scales as most nature scenes do um, but yeah I was just sitting here in the trail uh, doesn't look too fresh but I'm assuming it was heading either from here to here or vice versa or it might have just blown in the wind but yeah pretty neat to see piece number one car hood usually kind of productive let's see oh would you look at that baby fox snake um, I'm gonna pick him up and give you guys a closer look this right here is a baby western fox snake Pantherophis vulpinus and um, when they're young they don't have too much uh, differ in color it's they look kind of like baby rat snakes actually they're just uh, almost black and um, kind of a gray or brown base color but um, yeah pretty cool they get pretty big um, I've shown a lot of these on my channel before As you can hear him he's hissing and he's rattling his tail a little bit uh, trying to get me to get away from him but yeah baby fox snake they're pretty neat they're a species of rat snake this one kind of has cool patterning on his head each one of them kind of has a different pattern on their head which is pretty interesting uh, I like finding fox snakes they're one of the more common snakes out here yeah look at his eyes he's got like a little uh, if he'll focus he's got like a little mask on his face a little bandit <laughs> Pretty cool. See you later, buddy. Sweet. Time for piece of cover number two, which is right over here. I found a big fox snake under here about a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Hold on, I'm gonna grab these guys. That's crazy. Look how pretty that fox snake is. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Um, one second, I'm gonna set the camera up. Okay, um, hold on, there's some stuff to flip right here. Okay, so what you just saw was a triple flip of three different snakes, um, two of which are the same species, but they actually look very different, and one uh, other species, uh, Western fox snake. This is an adult of the one that I just found the baby right there, but uh, this one's actually very pretty Look at its head and um, As you can see it's a great deal bigger and uh, these are plains garter snakes I don't normally like picking them up just because their musk smells really bad, but uh, These are actually really cool examples of the species. So this one right here is actually blue um they have kind of a blue patterning where in between their scales and on their belly they'll be have 
have like a blue teal turquoise kind of coloring and it's really pretty uh, I love finding them like this um, check that out that's just a really pretty snake right there um, he just pooped all over me and smells really really bad but really pretty snake right here um, blue plains garter snake and this is a large one right here this one is actually one of the biggest ones I've ever seen um, this is probably a female I don't think a male would ever get this large actually check it out it's like really fat too most garter snakes I see aren't this big especially plains garter snakes they don't get quite as large as the eastern garter snakes but wow really cool triple flip right there um, did not expect that uh, it's really cool to see a big version of the smaller snake I just found actually and um, look at that there's a tree that the camera's actually on right now and it's trying to climb they're pretty decent climbers um, but yeah really cool really cool snakes right here I'm gonna see if we can find anything else I guess that's super sick I'll show you some uh, close-ups of this uh, garter snake in a second here look at the extraordinary colors on this thing that's just a beautiful snake right there despite how common they are this is just a gorgeous individual beautiful blue I mean I might be a little biased since blue is my favorite color but geez that is one pretty snake right there I'll show you the face right there beautiful I've only ever seen a few like this before so finding one like this is just super nice I just heard a snake moving through the grass as I was looking at these three hold on check it out I just found another big plains garter snake <laughs> wow okay as I was about to let the snakes go I actually found another giant garter snake um, the plains garter snakes here are huge for some reason I don't even remember which is the first one I found I think it might have been this one no it's definitely this one this one has some scarring on it but this one might even be bigger wow these are some big snakes just look at that there's snakes everywhere that's awesome super cool um, I'm gonna let these guys go and see if we can find anything else for real this time sweet I didn't plan on doing any real herping today but um, the weather was decent and I want to get my av oh would you look at that another plains garter snake um let's see if there's any more I'm gonna leave that guy alone Beep. he's flattening out <laughs> put that back oh go underneath there you go anyways like I was saying I wanted to get my uh, average steps a day up to at least 15,000 it's at like 10,000 now but um last year I was walking a lot more than I have been this year and uh, I just want to get my steps up so here I am walking doing steps sometimes I just think and wonder like if somebody took inventory of every snake at this forest preserve how many would there be you know like there's no real confident way to assume population sizes of snakes in a given area uh, that's like accurate anyway so I always just think to myself like huh and I wonder what species as well there's some areas that seem like they should have more species like this place here but there's only two to my knowledge so that being said enough rambling let's flip these boards don't produce as much as they used to really it used to be pretty decent but I don't know what it is they're all really dry underneath too could be a contributing factor I don't know right over here is a piece that I put out pretty recently it's like part of a broken car that I found in the woods just like I don't know 50 feet that way I guess never flipped it before so this is the uh, maiden voyage let's see how it does okay it's got something to prove okay there's a board there it's got somebody's car keys and a water bottle on top of it uh, maybe I won't flip it right now 
Alrighty. I hear someone in the woods. <laughs> I'm gonna just leave. One factor I forgot to mention about that spot down there that had the uh, board with the car keys on top of it and stuff is that um, I'm 99% sure there's a meth lab behind there. And uh, I'm not 100% sure. It could have been somebody doing something harmless, but I know one thing for sure, and that's I'm not gonna stick around to find out. So uh, let's go keep flipping more, see if we can find anything else. Another broken piece of car. Um, let's see if there's anything under it. Oh, there is. First time I've ever flipped it, and it produced a Plains Garter Snake. And if you've ever wondered if snakes have buttholes, that right there is the cloaca, which basically serves as everything as far as uh, defecating, urinating, um, reproduction. Everything comes out of there, actually. So uh, that clears that up for a lot of people who've been asking. So uh, the reason it's so pronounced right now and you normally can't see it is because it's actually lifting up its anal plate right now, which is that um, half moon shaped uh, scale right above it right there as you can see. And um, they're doing that because it's musking on me, which is a defense mechanism where it smells and probably tastes really bad. I don't really know for sure if it tastes bad or not because I haven't tasted it before and I don't plan on it. But it smells really bad and that's usually what makes predators drop them because their teeth are not that effective when they uh, bite the predators. So. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go, and uh, well, there he goes. I'll see if I can find anything else. And he actually got some of that musk on my knee, which is kind of gross, and it's almost impossible to get the smell off without waiting a really long time. So I'm gonna just wipe that off and pretend it's not there for the rest of the day. Good enough. That's all for today. Uh, my camera actually just died as I was about to film the outro. But, uh, yeah, that's all I found. Um, hope you learned some stuff. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.